Are you happy you to film this long? Oh, I'm very happy. In fact, I'll tell you, my life's first flight was when I was in, I think, class seven, and it was uh, Calcutta, Guwahati. So oh. I came as a student, and now I came with my film. It's a matter of honor. It was again a flight to Guwahati, and uh, the time has changed. The occasion is much more exciting. You can tell us about your movie and uh, yourself. Okay. So my film. is set in the mountains again so i think shillong is a very nice opening space for this uh, film and it's good to see that a young film festival and a young uh, film about young people should be growing together it's going to be by the way it's first screening in india we have just screened in turkey next month we are going to london and shillong is where we are opening we have five songs it's a love story please let's hope people come and watch it and uh, The log line says, "How do you know who is the one for you?" Okay, little more about the film. About the film, film, the movie. The film. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the story begins in a small town in Uttarakhand, where June, that is the name of the film. June is also the name of the girl. So she is about to get married, and just few days before her wedding, this group of biking boys they come in from the city. and what happens during that stay just before her wedding that she changes the way she looks at life but she goes on to get married to the same man she was choosing to marry and life takes twists and turns and that you have to watch the film for that tell us more about you i mean yourself okay so um, i am not a film student but i came here i was a reluctant scientist i am a happy filmmaker So I came to Bombay about 20, 25 years back. My first work was with Ram Gopal Verma. I was an assistant director on a film called Satya. I don't know if you all have seen it. I hope you all have seen it. So Satya was my learning ground. I have also worked in an Amit Khanna's company called Plus Channel, and that was again my assistant director days. I have written for television. I have done three documentary films. My first film was Kuch Love Jaisa. with Mr Rahul Bose and Shifali Shah and uh, that is streaming on Amazon worldwide you all can catch it for other films please follow me on Instagram and Twitter we'll be in touch okay tell us about uh, you can give some hope for the northeast uh, filmmakers especially shillong of course manipur assam and they are ahead <coughs> uh, so in today's journey to this venue I was told that in the last two years of the pandemic, there's a lot of young talent which has uh, shown, you know, they have shown uh, much uh, potential. So why don't we <coughs> continue this conversation and see to it that you are able to excite uh, filmmakers from all across India or the world to be able to come and shoot in Shillong? I think it's, it's very exciting. I think. Uh, going digital the format has become much more flexible sound post production is very good that can be done anywhere in any city whether it's chennai or it's mumbai if that uh, post production setup is not there i would love to do a film here uh, definitely on a relationship film maybe women based subject because uh, i am hearing good things about uh, how women are in meghalaya so i think uh, in rest of the parts of india that needs to be reflected we need to see more of shillong for all of us not just the lucky few who have come here see we we had seen here in meghalaya now the film industry has been start, starting so what is your your your, your views and message you give to the people of meghalaya as we say the young talent young talent you they are going to expose themselves in the film industry okay So I think it's a very good and a very difficult question, but I think uh, what is to be remembered is here that don't, as, as especially as a young filmmaker, I don't think you should be driven by कि क्या चलता है, कौन hundred pro club है, hero कौन है. I think they should first of all free themselves from these so-called formula because if you see how times are changing with OTT stories have changed. the audience now has much more choices of seeing how a film can be watched so there will be better distribution methods there will be more ways and avenues to showcase films 
So I think first of all they need to be free, they need to get local stories, they don't need to follow a format and I think they should make it entertaining. Question of, uh, of, uh, of the film, maybe to shooting and to, to acting, to be get uh, more views from people and to uh, uh, interact with, with, the, with the audience. You're saying that uh, audience prefers what kind of films? Film, yeah. I think uh, apart from the big studio and the big theater immersive experience, that's a new word now, immersive experience, that otherwise people don't go to theater and watch, like the Marvel movies or Disney, Pixar, or now maybe uh, Mission Impossible is coming. Apart from that, I think audience today wants to watch films, which is about you and me which is about that lady who's having dinner there, okay, or the boy who missed the train. It's not about that, the heroism. You know, I think we need to connect much more to the common man today and the common woman and be aspirational. I, I, I think even if there's a message, it should be said in a much more humorous way. So uh, people are much smarter, they are much more, they are much more exposed to world cinema. Uh, Korean film. See, the only thing is, I feel that love stories. Why I went on to make June was, I think, except for Korean films, which they call K drama, that there is hardly any uh, love stories which are being made. You know? So I think there is a gap for that. We have lost touch with making love stories. But I don't think we should give up the formula of music and a musically way saying our stories. That is very important. I think.